said Johann Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. And everybody was like, what? And they couldn't pronounce it again. What is this Mo Mo Mozart? So that's what his later name stayed. Here on the left hand side, you can see a very beautiful lake, and you can see that um, such green patches are very common in the city. Bergen is a very green city. It's not just surrounded by mountains, which are the lungs of the city, but also um, there are lakes and uh, lots of trees because we really love being close to the nature. Norwegians love hiking. So we go hiking no matter what the weather is like. It's very fortunate today that it's a Sunday and a beautiful day. So the streets are now empty, mostly because everybody is roaming the mountains more likely, or went to their cabins a bit, a bit more inner, inland, higher up in the mountains. But even if the weather isn't the best, there is no excuse. We say there is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. <laughs> <laughs> and also, since Bergen is surrounded by mountains, it sort of, when, when it started growing and expanding, it sort of grew between the mountains and was developed and stretched towards south, but also people have always learned to sort of um, adapt to the environment. And that's why many houses are built on the hill, on cliffs. It's very good connection and everybody has a car. In fact, Norway is now the first country in the world with the most electrical cars per capita. So if you look uh, on the street, today is not a lot of traffic, but you might spot quite many electrical cars. They're very easily to, uh, very, they're very easy to spot because they have a unique license plate. So Norwegian cars usually have um, two or you know, Norwegian license plates. They have two letters um, according to the uh, place they have been registered and a five-digit number. Now, if the car is purely electric, not hybrid, then it will receive always, the two letters will always have the letter E included from electric plus an additional letter. And if you look now on the left hand side, just a bit across the street, there is a gray, there are two gray tall buildings. And those are the student homes at Fantoft. And the light rail passes here through. They have a station just behind this building. So uh, the students living here have very good communication to the city center when they go to the university. So this whole neighborhood is called Fantoft. And it's the same name as the state church that we are going to visit. And we are very soon going to arrive there. Then we're going to stop at the parking lot, and there's a, I would say, five, but maybe less minute walk uh, to reach the uh, church. The path is a gravel road. Uh, it goes a little bit up and down, but nothing too uh, challenging. Nevertheless, if you feel like maybe you don't want to walk, you can also stay on the bus. I've been told the quiet boxes, they reach quite uh, far, so you might be able to hear me. But I say, just give it a try. I think that uh, for, mo for all of you, it will be a um, uh, pretty uh, good uh, road, but I just, ha I just always have to mention it because it's important for you to know what is uh, Motion. waiting for you. So we are going to use now the quiet boxes. So if you just take them with